Alright, hi there YouTube, it's me, Morsi America, playing on the Korean version of Dragon Blaze. Now, I'm gonna talk about some stuff in real life, um, because it correlates with a bunch of Halloween stuff, and Halloween's about, like, maybe two more days, because I'm, well, technically it might be one more day, or technically two days, right. I might upload this Saturday night or Sunday night. I'm waiting, I'm at my work right now, now I'll, I'll just say this. What I'm doing at work is really fun. It's seasonal only, but it pays a good amount of money. And I'll just say that what I do is basically scaring the crud out of people. And it's really fun. I work at an amusement park. But pretty much it's about to be... It's going to end tomorrow on Sunday, October 30th. And most likely I'm going to be unemployed. And But I might be going back to all of my old talents. And then also going back to college and my university. And... Yeah, a bunch of other stuff, but the reason why I bring up this stuff is because I'm going to talk about the Halloween main Awakened character outfits. Now, in the global version of Dragon Blades, we don't have the Awakened main characters, and we won't get this feature until next year, or we won't get these costumes until next year when we actually get Chapter 4 and we progress through the storyline, and hopefully, because we have Awakened characters, we'll get that, those costumes. But who knows? It's global. Anyways, enough of me chit-chatting, let me talk about this. Now, if you want to buy these costumes and you're playing on the Korean version of Dragon Blaze and you're wondering where to get it, all you have to do is click on this icon right there, the store icon. Click on that and then it's going to bring up these two lovely ladies. Now, this is going to be the one on the left. and I mean, there's one on the left and one on the right. You want to click on the right one with the tape measure. Now, what I'm going to state is this. When it comes to these costumes, I don't know the exact stats and what how much numbers it gives. But, yeah, uh, hold on. Alright, sorry about that. I actually had to cut it off there because I was talking to a good, uh, friend of mine who also goes to an anime convention in my sister's university con, uh, anime convention as well. But anyways, yeah, uh, where was I? Yeah, talking about the costumes. Now, I don't know the exact numbers for the stats and what they can give in particular, but I know this. The costume emphasizes a lot on the main, well, one of the skills when it comes to busters. Now, I haven't talked much about the main Awakened characters and their skills, but hopefully I'll make a video explaining about that. But the costumes emphasize on this skill right here. This skill boosts up the keys, intelligence, dexterity, and or, uh, what is it? Strength. So yeah, that's pretty useful. And let me go back over here and let me show, start showing you guys the costumes. Now, there's going to be three different tabs. There's going to be the allies, the non-awakened main characters, and then the awakened main characters. Now, the ally costumes, they're still the same. It, it's nothing changed, sadly. But let's go left to right from the warrior and then all the way to the paladin and review these costumes. Now, I'm going to be very quick about this, but let me state this. As you can see here, it costs 1,600 rubies to buy everything. The weapon, the weapon camo, the cape, and the outfit itself. Now, you can technically save some rubies by just buying the specific thing you want to get. For example, maybe you just want the outfit. And you can spend 600 rubies on that. Or maybe you just want the weapon camo. camo. That costs 600 as well. But let me say this. If you individually select stuff like this, it's not a good deal to do it because it's going to cost 1,800. Now, unless you want specific colors and different sort of variations and patterns, then go ahead and do that. It's your rubies, but yeah, this is what the outfit looks like. And yeah, for the warrior, I find it pretty badass. I'll, out of all the male costumes, I like the warrior one a lot. Now, technically, I would love to buy this, but I'm not a warrior. Or I don't main a warrior that much, so it's questionable. But yeah, there's a white version and a kind of uh, black, white, yeah. You, you can look at this for yourself, and you can determine which color variations you want. 
But let me move on quickly. Now here's the archer. The awakened female archer. And as you can see here, she has kind of a circus, uh, circus acrobatic sort of look and design. And I like this this design better because it reminds me of the Red Queen from Alice in Wonderland. But yeah, same deal here. Shoot, go away. I don't need you. But yeah, not that much of a difference but the colors. And you can look at that for yourself. Hopefully you can just pause the video and stare at it. But yeah, the Archer outfit I'll rank number 2 out of all the female outfits. Maybe you find it like as number 1 but I'll ask a question at the end of this video. Now for the Priest Awakened character outfit, I'm not really into it. I, I mean, it's, it's basically a Jing She and if you don't know what that is, I'm referring to like a Chinese zombie sort of dealio. But yeah, I, I wasn't suspecting her to have this getup, but I don't find this as my number one, one outfit and it's E eh to me. Now, here's the Awakened Mage character and I, I'll state this. Yeah, this, this is like the number one outfit I kind of like and I may want to get it, but it, it's questionable because, you know, rubies. Most likely I'll just get the outfit in itself, but... I might want to get the weapon camera so it can actually fit, but yeah. Basically, the mage outfit is an evil nurse. And there's a different, there, there's a little bit of a difference here. The weapon camos aren't the same. This one has a spike bat and medicine, while this one has like a crowbar and a medicine notebook or something. And she has blonde hair, and this one has brunette and red stockings, and this one has black. But, yeah, I really like this. Maybe you guys don't like it, but... I might get this before it ends, but... Moving on. Now, ironically... <laughs> I do main a rogue a lot more. I usually main around, like, a rogue and paladin, but... Mostly rogue, but... Yeah, as you can see here, the rogue is pretty much a vampire. Pretty straightforward, if you watch Dracula movies, you can see the, all of the references right there. But, yeah, he's a vampire. And I'll state this. In my job, as a scarer, I dress up as a vampire. Now, I'm not like the fucking Twilight people and have sparkles and shit. No, I'm a scary, mean vampire. And I, I'll state this. I'm a very good lurker, and I just use the shadows to my advantage or anything to my advantage and I do scare a good amount of people. But yeah, this is the vampire outfit for Rogue. You can look at this for yourself, pause the video. But the last costume I'll touch up on is the Paladin outfit and he's basically Jason. Now you got the one where he got the hockey mask and the chainsaw and the machete in the back, but yeah. And then here's the Paladin without the mask on and he, he kind of looked like the hot version of Jason without the mask. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. And I'll, I'll just leave this with this question right here. Well, I'll end this video with this question right here. What is your most favorite outfit for the males, for the females, and what is your least favorite outfit for the males and females? Now, if you have, maybe you like to praise, go ahead and put that down in the comments below. I, I wouldn't mind. Like, in my opinion, I find that the mage outfit and the warrior outfit, I, I'll rank it as number one. But what do you guys think? Anyways, that's it for this video. Thank you guys for watching, and hopefully I'll make more videos to help you guys or entertain you guys in some way. And with that said, peace. I said peace. No, don't. Peace. There we go.